Good evening, my YouTube family. Okay, um, I just got through redoing my board. I took down everything and um, I got this e-panel, this Magnum e-panel. So it was a little bit easier for me. So I put everything inside there. I put my contactor, uh, my bus bars, I have my whiz bang, I have everything inside. So this way I don't have to have one thing there, one thing there, one thing there, blah, blah, blah. Everything just fits. It's a little bit messy, but I have everything in here. Um, the reason for this video is a friend of mine asked me how I wired my automatic transfer switch in this SW. How do I activate it or to get it to work this way? Because what happens whenever you have Whenever this inverter, which is the SW4048, whenever it sees shore power, it automatically passes shore power through. So in, I'm in Jamaica, so we have JPS. So whenever it see JPS reach the input side, it automatically switch from battery to shore power. So what I did was I put a contactor and what happens, we have shore power, this is just a meter that I have. It's not really from the line power company. It's actually a meter that I just put here just for cosmetic purposes. Um, so whenever a line power comes in, it comes to this contactor. And then of course I have a breaker. So it comes to the breaker, then to the contactor, and then from the contactor to the input. The contactor is always open. So whenever my battery volt reach a, a set point, which in this case I have it at 77% state of charge. So whenever I reach 77% state of charge, it closes, the, the, the charge controller sends a signal, uh, a 12 volt signal, closes the contactor. And then when the contactor is closed, it sends the power, which is shore power, to the inverter, which automatically passes through. So simple, simple. From shore power to a breaker, of course you need some protection, then to the contactor, and then from the contactor to the inverter, whenever the contactor closes. All right, let me simulate what happens whenever I reach, because I could just turn it on. Whenever I reach 77%, it closes the contactor. Once the contactor closes, it takes about 10 seconds, this thing has to qualify the power that's coming in and it switches over. There you go. It just switched over to shore power. So that's what would happen in the event of my battery volts reaching or my state of charge reaching below, I reach in 77%. I try to keep them as fully charged as possible because I want my battery to last at least 10 probably 15 years so I don't want him to go I'd rather pay my shore power company which is JPS a little bit if I have to just to maintain my battery it's been over a year <laughs> hasn't switched over yet but still working fine all right let me just manually turn it off because it's manually on and there it is it just switched so see no AC in all right if you have any questions um go ahead you could just leave me a comment or something and i'll answer it as best as i can